Hello, just a quick uh, overview of some GA pedals uh, that I bought as a conversion kit for the uh, Thrustmaster Hotas pedals. Um, this is what you get, a couple of these in 3D printed, very solid. You can see I've already got one attached. I'll show you how to attach it onto there shortly. Um, I also bought some new springs, got a medium and a high tension spring. That was just a case of unscrewing this panel here, replacing the spring, and that just gives you a bit more tension on your pedals. So it actually feels like you're pressing against something now. Anyone that uses the Thrustmaster pedals will know that uh, there's quite a bit of give in the pedals um, because the spring's not the uh, not the tightest. Um, so I replaced that. I've put a medium one in, and it seems to be doing the job. Uh, so uh, to fit the pedals, you've got two little Allen key screws in the Thrustmaster pedals holding on the heel plate. In the back of the pedals that were supplied, you actually get an Allen key as part of the kit, which slots in, so you've got everything to hand. And you literally just pop the Allen key in, unscrew the screws, to remove the heel plate. So keep the screws, you don't need the heel plate again. And then on the pedals, you've got this base plate. I found it easy just to pop the screws in first. He says. Like so. Just to get them located on the main pedals and then using the long part of the hex key, the allen key, if you pop it through the hole in the top and then you can just tighten the screws and attach the pedals that way. So I'll just screw these in, get them nice and tight, and then I'll show you uh, how they work. Okay, so the pedals in action. Excuse the socks. So, as you can see, they work exactly like normal leather pedals. The braking action. And you see the leather there. So, I'll just taxi out to the wrong way. Give you a very short video. And then you can see. in use. So it actually feels like you're getting a bit of resistance, which is nice. As opposed to the overly springy default springs. So we'll just taxi down the wrong way. And you can see I'm, I'm having a very little correction in. But it does feel so much more realistic. See the rudders definitely 
set the air cross there. So I hope that's given you a brief idea. Personally, I think they're a great idea. Really like them. They cost about £30 on eBay, which I know you can. Uh, I know you can print them yourself, but um, as an Xbox user, I don't have access to a PC or a 3D printer, and I can't justify the cost. So £30 well spent. So uh, hope this has given you an idea as to whether you want to go ahead and buy them yourself or print them yourself. See ya.